Size doesn't matter. At least that's what you've been trying to convince all of those ladies all of your life. Well, today, well, maybe we have a case for that. This is the brand new HEA Designs Hunter coming your way right now. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back once again. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new HEA Designs Hunter. Now, you've already seen the images, so I won't uh, act like this is going to be a mystery. So let's take a look at the packaging first. Now, you guys have seen me do uh, reviews or videos or whatever on HEA Designs before. You've seen the really awesome packaging Sam puts a lot of time and honestly a lot of money into his packaging designs and uh, and it easily shows. So same magnetic front box. Inside is their slogan, design different. And you're always going to be greeted with a thank you card because Sam loves you. Uh, and he's got great respect for his customers and he always wants to make sure to thank them for spending money with him. And here it is right here inside of this really cool foam. Beyond that, however, yes, there's more. There's always more with HEA design. So let's uh, see if we can pop this open. And you're going to get a Trevor tre treasure trove of delights. Or a Trevor trove, if you know Trevor, he's a true treasure. There is <laughs> your vinyl patch. Here is your little slip, pocket slip carry case with the felt. You're going to get a couple of uh, cool stickers. There's one for you, there's one for your buddy. Uh, there's one for your car, there's one for your workbench. Oh shit, that's cool. Hey, I haven't seen that before. That's awesome. So it's a model specific little sticker. That's that's pretty darn awesome. Oh, I did look at this, this the hunter. Man, he is throwing it. You guys don't even know how expensive it gets to do this stuff. To to have a graphic artist make your design, you're spending a few hundred bucks. And then you're gonna spend a few hundred bucks more just having a few stickers made. So uh, yeah, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. He throws in a lot of cool extra stuff. And then there's a really nice microfiber cleaning cloth. Good for cleaning your knife, good for your eyeglasses, for your camera lenses, for a multitude of different things. Now here is the little tiny, look at that, that hunter disappears in your hand. So yes, it absolutely is a tiny little knife. Now. It's meant to be kind of a, a dual action as far as the way you can open it. So you've got, obviously, a manual folder. And if I can get my... There we go. Get my thumb to work right. It is also going to be a somewhat of a front flipper. Now you guys know, and I've, I've expressed this in the past, I despise front flippers. I, I don't like the awkwardness uh, in, in how you have to do it. And, you gotta hold it a certain way, and if they don't really do a good job on the on the detent, then the action sucks. And uh, that's not the case here, as you can see. I just have to get used to how it has to be manipulated. But you see, it's very snappy and quick. So for me, I'd be manually opening it by the opening slot. I, I think I can flick it too. Yes, you can. So you can flick it open. You can slowly 
manual open it like a sibinza, or you can do the uh, front flipping, which uh, I'm done doing that shit. You, you've seen it. I'm not going to do it anymore. So what are we looking at here? You're going to get a few different variations. of. They're all going to be a 2.85 inch 154 cm blade so uh, certainly a good steel not a super steel not super exotic but for the price you're spending on this that's not what you would expect anyway you know you're not going to get you know s90 v or or something like that for 199 bucks so at least with this amount of work and detail and everything else that goes into it so you got a 154 cm blade at 2.85 inches. It is just about six and three quarter inches overall. So that means you've actually got a pretty sizable handle, and it's really due to the fact that the way he's shaping the frame to match the shape of the tip of the blade, it actually gives you a little bit more length there than you would typically have. So, even though, yes, this is a super tiny little knife, <laughs> I'm going to master that by the end of this video. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Whatever. Uh, so, even though you have a teeny tiny little blade, you've actually got what feels like a, a fairly decent sized compact knife in your hand. Let's give you a quick comparison. For those that are uh, familiar with HEA designs, you're used to the more way out crazy stuff like the Wingman. And uh, I've had this Wingman for, I guess I've had mine for about a year. I don't know, has it been about a year? I guess it's been about a year. And uh, I still think it's one of the coolest, funky knives that I've got. It's wildly different. It's not made to look like anything else. Now here with the Hunter, you've got something that, yes, it's still going to be a different kind of style, but it's not really too out there. And by the way, yeah, it, that did draw blood when it hit the back of my thumb. So in case you're wondering, yes, Sam does make nice, sharp knives. And I've had that for a while. So where, where was I? Oh, so even though it's a bit funky and it is different, it's not wildly outside the typical uh, EDC style knives. I think the main difference is that you're going to, to really... Would you stop stabbing yourself? You'd think I'd be a little more careful when it comes to playing with knives. Okay, so some of the differences are going to be obviously the custom uh, HEA Designs pivot where you've got the HEA logo on both sides of it. The really cool milling that you see here on the G10. This is what they call the icy gray G10. You've got this beautiful milling, this very subtle little design, uh, almost like the crop circles that we've seen before um, on the backspacer. That's a titanium backspacer. Nice clean milling and detail work here again in the titanium pocket clip. The accordion style lock bar relief cut on the back side of the uh, titanium lock bar and then of course that beautiful really really aggressive tip and that is a very fine fine tip by the way which is what got me right there it's such a fine little tip that it just barely barely made a little hole I also love the fact that he's brought another grind down here and then you've got the two-tone, so you've got this nice, clean, very fine, media-blasted bevel. He's gone back over and done these nice satin finishes on the flats. So you've got a really nice, clean, two-tone look. Literally bleeding all over my stuff here, but that's okay. Nice, fast action, very smooth, very quick. in a tiny tiny little package I love this I love that little detail I love how well everything fits together on this sometimes you do want a smaller knife I'm typically I like that three and a half to three point eight five inch blade length that's my personal com comfort zone and then every now and then I'll carry about a three inch blade. It, it's rare, it's you know, summertime, maybe just wearing a pair of shorts. I really want something small and very, 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 very lightweight. And I have a couple of knives that I keep to the side just for that. And that's what this is gonna be for. And also there are gonna be guys that do just prefer 
a smaller knife. There are going to be uh, guys that live in much more restrictive areas of the country that actually dictate a certain blade length and uh, a length that you have to stay under in order to be able to legally carry it. This is going to be fantastic for that. I love the aggressive look and design. I love the grinds on it. I love the way that it feels and the fact that it is very, very lightweight. There are going to be a few variations. Uh, so let's get this out of the way. You're looking at $199 in G10. There's going to be a carbon fiber option. A couple. There's going to be a carbon fiber option with a couple of different, I think, finishes on the titanium, and they'll be two hundred and nineteen dollars. Why? Because two hundred and twenty was too damn much. So on the G10, there's going to be stuff like black, orange, uh, OD green, the ice gray that you see here, and oh yeah, if, and there's going to be a couple of different black G10s, and I think there's going to be some full blackout options. If you do the carbon fiber, it's just going to be the one option of carbon fiber with this uh, same bead blasted titanium and two-tone blade. So uh, forgive my little quick correction there. It's a slick little knife, man. It really is. And again, I mean, you got to look at the, uh, the overall size here. Not that big. It's weird because you guys have an angle where you're looking kind of this way, so my fingers look super short. Um, I, I can't really hold it this way without dropping the knife in my lap. But as you see, it is not a tremendously big knife. And it's slim. And it's lightweight. I don't have a scale, so I can't tell you what the weight is. I didn't get the weight from Sam. Uh, but it is going to be very lightweight, very easy to carry. And again, just a reminder, very, very sharp. Let's see how sharp this one is. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that on purpose. I do that enough at work every day. So there she is, guys. Just a really quick look. I wanted to make sure you got a chance to see it. Uh, I think it's officially being released uh, a day after I upload this video. I'm doing this on Sunday. I have no idea what the hell the date is today. Um, it's the weekend before the Las Vegas Custom Knife Show, if that helps anybody. Um, so I think I'm putting this video up the day before it officially launches. Uh, Sam did a quick soft launch, a little announcement on Instagram on Friday, two days ago, uh, but they have not been made available for sale yet. It's a slick little knife. If you like something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, but not so wild that you look at it and go, I don't know. I don't know how my brain feels about that. And I think that's where the wingman kind of felt. There were people that absolutely loved it. And I can't really say there were people that hated it because I didn't really hear any of that. But there were definitely people that kind of went, I don't know how that makes my brains feel. It's, it's very, 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 very different. Uh, again, I think it's cool. But, you know, everybody's different. So... If you want something that's still got a lot of style, but it's not quite that out there, it's going to be a good little companion for you. And that's what it really is. This is your small, lightweight EDC. This might even be the second or third knife that you're carrying on you at one time. Maybe not just your primary knife. I generally carry one folder and one fixed blade. But, uh, you know, every now and then people do carry multiple folders, and this is a great little backup. And by the way, the ceramic detent on here feels great. It also provides, uh, or assists, I should say, in that nice, clean, smooth action. I love the way this feels in the pocket. Great retention on that clip. That is a strong little clip, but it's not overdone. It will slide in and out of the pocket very easily but it locks in nicely so you don't have to worry about it just uh, flopping out all over the place so there it is guys a quick look at the HEA Designs Hunter it's going to be available by the time you see this video it should be available um, again 199 in the G10 versions and then 219 in the carbon fiber normally I say 100% carbon fiber that's that would be my choice but I like some of these G10 options I love the fact that they're milled I have not seen the carbon fiber yet not even a picture so I don't know what it looks like I don't know if it looks better or if it just looks as good so that's going to be entirely up to you I mean folks you're looking at a $20 difference uh, big whoop it's, it's not like you're having to uh, 
get a second mortgage on the house or sell one of your dog's appendages or something to be able to afford the difference. It's, it's 20 bucks. So whichever way you go, I think you're going to be very happy. It's a nice small knife with a really great blade profile. Uh, very good for draw cutting. You can do uh, rock, rocking, like if you're cutting paracord and stuff like that. A little bit of food prep. It's a very, very, very thin edge. So this is definitely going to be more for slicing and cutting as opposed to hacking and chopping. So yeah, I mean, not that you're going to go out and go batoning a sub three inch blade. Uh, you know, I can't even say that. There are idiots that would. There, there really are. You're out there. You know you're out there. If you don't realize you're the idiot, yeah, well, I'm here to tell you. So, uh, for EDC tests, that's going to be great. Super thin. Very, very sharp. Very impressed with the edges they put on these things. And that is a needle-like point. So be careful, A, that you don't poke yourself like I did, and B, that means it's going to be fragile. Please keep that in mind. Again, this is not a hard-use bushcraft knife or anything, but that is a very, very thin tip, so it's going to be a little bit fragile. So don't go dropping it on its tip over and over, or even once. There you go, guys. That's it. I'm out of here. I keep trying to sign off, and I keep seeing something else about it that I like or I'd like to note. Oh, another thing I should note, I'm never going to get out of here. Uh, it does have a lock bar over travel built in, so that's nice to have. Let's take a look at that lock up while I've got you here. There you, ooh, wow, that is early, early, early lock up. Very nice. And it is a steel interface. So you have a steel insert, so you have steel on steel lock up. There you go. I should, I should have said that. Uh, about 13 minutes ago, but I just now read. Oh man, look at that action! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, you listen to that. Mm. All right, this time for sure, I am out of here. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next video.